Hello and welcome to Youth Open Shop Live. My name is Ryan and I'm here at the Ogden Bicycle Collective and we're here to answer your questions and help you learn more about bikes. So this is a weekly live stream that we do every Tuesday at 5 p.m. and we want to answer your questions, whatever questions you might have about bikes. That's our goal here. Now this stream, oops, it's a link, it's an important link, we'll get to that in a second, but our goal this stream is to just explain a little bit more about what these streams will be and how you can join in. And if you stay tuned, a few extra little plans that we're going to be doing, such as what questions we might answer or how we might incorporate this into the real world. Exciting, huh? All right. So first off, like I said, this is just a live stream where we answer your questions. We want to help you understand bikes. Part of our mission at the Bicycle Collective is to Get, make biking, well, our whole mission is to make biking accessible. And part of the way we do that is by donating bikes, but we also want to be able to educate people, to understand more about their bikes, how to get into biking, and what it takes to stay in there and to be safe and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, if you'd like to join us, you can do it here on YouTube by watching the streams. You can also go to that important link that I hid down below. If you want to join us, you can go to tiny.cc slash yos live for the couple different ways you can join us. First off, every week you can join us live on Zoom by going to the, uh, the button that says join us live on Zoom. That's actually exactly what it says. So if you want to join us then, you can, and you can ask your questions. We'll derail everything that we're doing. No, I'm just kidding, but we will uh, stop and answer your question. So... If you do have a question about, oh wait, he's talking about grips. What if my grips are really sticky? Well, we'll go over that right then and there. So go ahead and join us live if you'd like to. Now let's say you can't join us live. You can always join us on YouTube by clicking the button there or here on this YouTube channel. You're probably watching this after the fact. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and you'll be alerted every time we go live. So that way you can join us live there. Now, uh, we'll get into this in a little bit. We don't have any way of, since these are made for kids, people under 18, kids, where these are not, we're not allowed to put on live chat or questions in, in the normal sense like you'd have in a YouTube stream, but we still want to be able to get your questions. So if you want to join your, and ask your question live, join the Zoom chat probably over here. If you want to ask your question in the future, like after the fact, go ahead and click the button that says ask a question when you join, go to this link here. Now that will, what that will do is we'll take the time and we'll answer your questions after the fact. And if it's uh, a really cool question, we'll probably cover it in a full episode. There's no dumb question, so we'll probably cover it in a full episode anyway. So go ahead and ask your questions, submit your suggest topics. Uh, even if you know the answer to a question, go ahead and submit it. I'm sure somebody out there has that question, and so it's a really important way to go ahead and spread spread that kind of knowledge around. That's kind of what we're doing. We're spreading knowledge about bikes. That's our goal. All right, so that's how you can join in. Now, there's important rules that, when you, that we need to go over before you can join in, and that is the internet safety rules. Now, the first half internet safety rules are very important because if you came into open shop during regular times, kids would come in, they'd bring their own bikes, they'd help us fix bikes that we were going to donate, and we'd teach them and we'd show them how to do stuff. But an important thing that they would need to do is follow the safety rules. And since we're not in the shop, we're on the internet, there's internet safety rules that we have to follow. Now, first up is right there, my favorite. This is be excellent to each other. Always treat each other kindly, be a positive a force for good on the internet, and then go out and help people. Now, the important thing here is ask uh, positive questions. You know, if you want to see, see us cover something, let us know. If you have a question that you think other people might benefit from, let us know because that's a good way of being excellent to each other, looking out for people, because a lot of people, they don't know what to ask because... You don't know what you don't know. So uh, if, you have a, if you think of a question that might be good to answer, go ahead and ask it. We'd love to answer it. So, but uh, next up, 
guard your privacy. If you are submitting anything on the internet, make sure that you're keeping your privacy in mind so that the people can't, I, I don't know, uh, track you down. Because we want you guys to stay safe on the internet. Some, uh, privacy is an integral part to all of that. So now the first uh, rule here is when you submit a question, you can submit it with your first name, last initial, and then maybe the place where you're from. Now you don't have to do any of that. You can always subject submit your questions anonymously. So if you have a question, go ahead and submit, uh, oh, I'm Ryan B. from Bountiful, and I want to know, how do I get to shifting to work well? All right, so next up is bike photos. If you have, uh, if you have a bike and you want to feature it here on the show, send us a photo. Now there is an important rule if you do that. Just make sure it's against a plain background and it doesn't include any personal information, like your face, your address, stuff like that. And that's very important to keep in mind. All right, now next up is if you're under the age of 18, always ask for permission before posting anything on the internet. If you have any uh, suggestions or comments or anything like that, always ask permission before you post it. That's something I do even as an adult. I say, hey, is this a good thing to put on the internet? And, I, and then they say, hmm, probably not. And so it's always an important thing to ask. All right, so that's it for internet safety. That's very important. Next up, we also have work safety because you're gonna be working on your bike. So there's a couple important key details that you're gonna have to keep track of. Now, first up, always use the right tool for the job. You wouldn't use a hammer to take out a tire because that could damage the tire, damage the rim, maybe even damage the frame, or worst of all, yourself. So always be careful. Uh, so always use the right tool for the job. If you need to know what right, the right tool is, at least to the second point, always ask for help. If you have any questions or if you need help lifting something or using a tool you've never used before, always ask for help. It's not what you know, it's who you know. So go ahead, find somebody, ask Ask them to help you out and make new friends that way. It's great. All right. Next up, and then finally, keep safety in mind. Always keep your safety as your highest priority. So that way you can go on and ride your bike and be happy, you know? You got to keep your safety in mind, keep the safety of those around you in mind, and everything will turn out much better than if you didn't. Trust, you. Trust me. I promise you that. All right. So that's it for the safety rules. Sorry. Got to clear that out of the way. Now we've got to go over a little bit of what we're going to be going, going through with these streams and some of our future plans and awesome things that we're going to do. Now, some of the questions we might go over are the basics, like how do I change a tire? How do I stop my chain from skipping? It's just skipping all over the place. Well, how do I uh, get my brakes to not squeak when I pull them? How do I, uh, uh, Oh, let's see. How do I stop my cable from poking me? <laughs> All that stuff. So if you have questions like that, go ahead and submit them. But we're not just doing repair questions. We're also going to do different bike, bike related questions of all kinds. So for example, how do I, what streets can I ride on and how do I ride safely on the street? Or what trail should I, I want to start mountain biking. What trail should I choose? Uh, how do I know what trails are good for me and all that stuff? So you don't want to end up going down too steep of a hill on your first time mountain biking. So always, so yeah, just lots of different things like that. Safety, uh, I'm sure we'll think of lots of fun questions. I'm sure you guys will think of a lot of fun questions too. So be sure to submit those. Now, we also want to incorporate this virtual learning into the real world. That, that's out there, it's, it's everywhere. So go ahead and keep participating because we're going to try to incorporate different things about the Bicycle Collective. So if you're in the state of Utah and you live near Bicycle Collective, you can come in, you can help us get bikes ready for donation. Uh, well, we're working on that. We're, we'll let you know how to do, get involved with that stuff. But if you're interested, be sure to let us know. Uh, just shoot an email. My email is Ryan, so that's my name, Ryan, at bicyclecollective.org. And that'll be on the That'll be on the page as well. All right, so 
Finally, we also want to incorporate all sorts of other things too, like remember the Earn a Bike program? That's where you, by helping us out and helping us get bikes ready for donation, could receive a bike of your own. And we're trying to bring that back as well. So stay tuned, keep, uh, and we'll keep you posted about all the updates and all the things that we're gonna be able to uh, get going with that. So if you're interested, let us know because that really helps us know how to get going with all this stuff. So excellent. That's it for Youth Open Shop Live. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Ryan. I'm here at the Ogden Bike Collective today. And if you guys want to take part, please join us and follow this here link to the page down below. And uh, that's it for today. So you guys go out there, ride your bike, be safe, and have a great day.